The secret societies came to America shortly after the pilgrims arrived, and they were sent by a man named Sir Francis Bacon. You get this, this very strange mixture of people, many of whom understood even then the advantage, uh, spiritually and otherwise, to having secret orders unless you understand the influence of the occult societies uh, on the development of America, on the establishment of America, upon the course of America, why you get completely lost in our history. And they were the ones through which this work was being put into operation in England, in Europe, and eventually in America and the world. So that America then could be used to lead the world uh, into the philosophic empire. You understand that America was founded by Christians as a Christian nation. However, there were always those people on the other side who wanted to use America, use our military power and our financial power to establish enlightened democracies throughout the world and restore lost Atlantis. When our founders declared a new order of the ages, they were acting on an ancient hope that is meant to be fulfilled. As America marches forward, spreading democracy throughout the globe, is she merely promoting freedom or fulfilling an ancient plan? Is she following a course planned for centuries by men who believe she is chosen for a secret destiny? To understand the present and possibly the future, we look into the past as we unfold the secret mysteries of America's beginnings. Can America be the new Atlantis?